Welcome to ProBuilder Level Design in Unity. This video will walk you through everything you need to know about ProBuilder in the Unity game engine. Alright, so once you have installed ProBuilder by going into Window and then Package Manager, you can simply click Tools, ProBuilder, and ProBuilder Window. Alright, to create a new shape, we can come up here and click on this plus sign. And you can use the shape selector tool to choose the shape you want. Alright, I'm going to go down here where it was placed. And as we can see right now, we have a cube. But we can make it something like a sprite, a prism, a stairs, a cylinder, a door, a plane, a pipe, a cone an arch, a sphere, and a torus. So as we can see here, we have all these different options for the mesh itself, and we can just slide these sliders around to get, to change the values. I am just going to stick with a simple cube, which has one setting, and it's the size. So once you have selected the mesh you want to make, you can simply press build, and then we can close out the window that has created this cube here all right we can reset the transform on this mesh like so and then we can use the gizmos to move the cube all right you can see that we have these three selection modes up here at the top you can change your selection mode by clicking on these this first one right here is vertex selection it allows you to select vertexes on the mesh itself. The second one right here is edge selection mode. It allows you to select the edge on the mesh. And this third one right here is face selection mode. It allows you to select the face on the mesh. Alright, so now we can see that we have all these tools here. I usually work within the face edit tool, which is good for level design. Alright, so the first option we have is actually the extrude tool. This is the one I use the most. It pretty much allows you to create extra geometry. And to do that, you can press a shift and then move it down or up, depending on how you're moving it. And then the other one I use a lot is the bevel tool. It creates all these extra edges around the edges of the mesh. I'm going to undo my changes. Now, whenever you're doing a level design, I usually use the flip normals. And it allows you to see inside it. So if you were designing a level, you wouldn't want your player walking around like on the outside here and seeing the mesh like it is sorry it is currently really dark all right this would take a lot of cubes to just create a simple corridor so that's why we use flip normals to pretty much simulate extra geometry from a first person view all right the other one i use a lot is collapse vertices it pretty much allows you to take two vertices and merge it into one like so so we previously had two vertices and now we have one at the center like so I don't really do that many things with edges besides beveling them every once in a while but I barely do that but let's just say I deleted this face right right here by Pressing on it and deleting it by using the backspace. We can see that we no longer have a face here. So if our player was positioned right here. He would be able to see out into this gorgeous world. But to fix that. We can select all these edges. Like so. And then we can click fill hole. Which should work 
like so. So if you found this tutorial informative, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It always helps out the channel and helps get content like this recommended to others. Fun Nuber out.